So we have two functions. Uh, let's see here, f and g, and we're asked to compute uh, f o g of x. All right, that's uh, called the composition of f and g, so solution. So you start by writing down f o g of x. So what does this mean? This is equal to f of g of x. So, so the g always goes here on the inside. So the first thing you want to do, you want to start from the inside. So you want to start with little g. So you want to replace little g with what it actually is. So here is little g right here. And so this right here is going to go right there. So this is equal to f of, and again, we're making this, this replacement. So it'll be x squared minus 5. All right, the next step is to look at f. So f is up here. So f is 3 times x plus 2. So it's 3 times x plus 2. So let me write it over here. f of x is 3 times x plus 2. For example, f of 3 would be 3 times 3 plus 2. f of blah would be 3 times blah plus 2. In our case, the blah is, is this x squared minus 5. So it's 3 times, well, blah, so, so x squared minus 5 plus 2. To finish, you distribute the 3. So 3x squared minus 15. Yeah, 3 times 5 is 15 plus 2. So we end up with the final answer of 3x squared minus 13. And that's how you take the composition of two functions. Just to recap, uh, little g always goes here. Whatever is here goes here. And then you start by looking at the inside, right? You want to work from the inside out. So inside. So you replace little g with what it is up here, x squared minus 5. And then so we get this. When you get to this step, you look at f. Here's f again over here. f is 3x plus 2. You just replace x with x squared minus 5. So instead of 3x plus 2, it's 3x squared minus 5 plus 2. Then you distribute and you finish.